Today, we have a very long travel day ahead of us. Normally, these travel days really suck for us. And if you've watched any of our vlogs in the past, you probably see that we don't film them when most quote unquote influencers do. But today is gonna be a little different because we're actually excited for this flight. Not quite this flight. We're actually in Christchurch and we have to connect through Auckland, New Zealand, which is a short hour and a half flight. But then from there, we're doing something very, very unique that I think everyone at least once in their life that has flown domestic has always wished for. Something that we didn't even know existed, to be fair. But first, some much needed coffee. Cheers. They can tell I'm not drinking because I got my teeth in. <laughs> I'm just like pushing it up against my lips. Mm. We have officially made it to Auckland and from Auckland we are about to board our flight to Tokyo. And today we are actually excited for our flight because we have opted for the New Zealand Air Sky Couch. Neither Jeff nor myself has ever experienced this before, but all I know is no matter what it is, it's gonna be better than basic economy. If you can tell, it's not just a regular economy seat. This is a couch seat, so all three of these fold into a couch. And the way we got this is you actually just add on a Sky Couch addition to your regular flight. As an additional option, you select the Sky Couch configuration, which for us costs an extra 605 New Zealand dollars, or roughly 380 US. That's not bad for a third seat in economy that basically folds into a couch or a mini bed for us. Just looking around, we can see that most people have the rows to themselves for the Sky Couch, but Jeff and I are sharing, so we figured why not just share the price and go for the third seat and have it fold out so we can actually sleep on this flight. What we didn't consider is that this is not an overnight flight and you probably can't sleep, but it's okay. We're gonna do it just to try it out anyway. And also, I think this is exclusively an Air New Zealand uh, accommodation. I've got something special to show you. This is Air New Zealand's innovative economy Sky Couch. It's a world first, and you won't find it on any other airline flying to New Zealand. So the stewardess just came by and gave us an instruction manual because it's our first time. We're supposed to read it over and then she'll come back after we take off to kind of walk through the different configurations. So this shows us how the seats can lay out, how we can use the seat belts, and to not smile and put our head out on the aisle, otherwise we might get hit by a trolley. Now the most interesting part of this video is gonna be how Jeff and I fit on this together because it's surprisingly narrow and most people can only have one sleep at a time, um, but you have to fold out the whole couch, so I don't really know how this is gonna work. So the only other blog that I found on this, the guy was 5'9", and he said it worked, but just barely, and he had to lay diagonal. Now we can't do that with two people, so I have a feeling I'm gonna end up sitting and Bree's gonna sleep pretty well. minutes into the flight and Brie has already abandoned me because the flight is so empty she actually opted to take her own row rather than even attempt to cuddle with me on the sky bed. So with these three seats we were given pillows and blankets for three people which is great because there's only two of us which means extra cushion and padding for me. There also is like this comforter slash blanket thing which may, I'm not sure if it goes over to keep us warm or if it's supposed to like lay down as kind of a mat. Other than that, it's basically just like a wider than normal footrest that goes all the way up and then locks into a position. Bree's worried because the lady didn't give her any belts. Now, I should say that you get extra belts for the sky couch configuration so that two people laying side by side, or three, or four if you have kids with you, have a longer belt that goes from the seat in front of you. There's a little hook that dangles down and clips into this middle seat so it goes from over the blanket so the flight attendants can see you while you're sleeping and still provide security. I just want to sleep. But Bree, for some reason, thinks that she needs these belts now in order to sleep with the row behind us, which is not a sky couch. Okay, we worked our way through the confusion. Bree thought the seats behind us were a sky couch, and that's why she opted to move back there. But now she's coming back up, and I think I'm getting evicted. I'll sit in the back row because I'm probably not going to sleep. She kicked me out, 
And then I said, why don't you finish filming setting up Sky Couch? She said, well, I'm not tired yet. I need to sit up for at least a couple more hours before I go to bed. <laughs> Which then begged the question, why did she kick me out? And there's Judas up there watching movies. <laughs> going to try and take a nap so it is officially time for the sky couch but I'm not going to use any blankets because it's actually going to be warm on this plane so I'm just going to use the pillows that have been packed away one of the smaller blankets and then just lay out If you can't tell, we have officially made it to Tokyo and we are extremely exhausted, but what I can tell you is that the Sky Couch was definitely worth it. I think it was worth it because Jeff and I got very lucky and the couch behind us was also free, so um, we were able to get about one hour of sleep each. If we had to have shared one couch, maybe just sit in the chair. I don't know if it would have been all that much better with two people and I didn't really even fit on my own, so. Yeah, I don't know. I actually really enjoyed it and I would say that for two people, even though it wouldn't have been the best, still having someone being able to lay down and kind of curl their legs and then maybe like put your head in my lap or something would have been great. My biggest regret is that every single row was empty basically, so everyone had their own row on our flight, so it felt like a bit of a waste of money, but it was a cool experience. And also if you like to snuggle, then maybe take Jeff's advice. <laughs> I do not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps you make your next airline and couch decision. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.